guys, Enderman here, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series where I'm going to be going over each kit in Mindmon and how to use them, some strategies, what they get, and all that good stuff. So uh, if you guys like the series, do let me know. These will just be short little videos where I go over all the moves, its move set, and you know some basic combos that you can uh, pull off with each kit. All right, so this is Pikachu, and uh, let's get on with it. So before we go on to some combos and stuff, let's go over the basic stats of Pikachu. Pikachu is going to be a standard class, and standard classes uh, are easy to use, easy to pick up, they're good for beginners, they have all around average health, average attack, and average abilities, and their combos aren't too hard to pull off, generally. Uh, that is usually what classifies a standard class in Mindmon, and uh, it has six moves, the first of which being Pika Punch, which is its melee. It does five attack damage, this is your basic melee, you're going to be using this most often when you're fighting other opponents. Its second attack is actually Iron Tail, which is a second melee, not too many classes have two melee, and this does seven attack damage, so it's going to be doing a little bit more damage, but when you hold it, you are slowed down, the only way to move is to jump, and that uh, drastically reduces your movement speed. So it's good if you uh, pin someone up against a wall, but other than that, Iron Tail really isn't as good as some my people think. Pika Punch is definitely what you're going to want to use when you're meleeing people most of the time. But if you feel like it, you can go for some Iron Tail action. Pikachu's third attack is Thunderbolt, and this is its uh, greatest attack to start a combo. It stuns people, and it gives them blindness and glowing for a little bit, so you can uh, potentially get a stun lock on them, and I'll show you guys what that is in a little bit. But uh, it's definitely, uh, it deals high damage because the bow has power one, and it's a great tool for setting up combos and stuff. Again, I'll show you guys that in a minute. Pikachu's fourth attack is going to be Thunder. Thunder is its most powerful attacking move with instant damage 3, and you can just uh, throw it down and lay it on your opponents, and uh, I'll show you guys some cool neat tricks that you can use with Thunder. And it deals 6 hearts on a hit, so it's uh, crazy damage, crazy insane damage, and you're definitely going to want to set up into using Thunder. Volt Tackle is most people throw this on their opponent, you don't want to do that. It's a great tool to set up some melee combos. Uh, what it gives you is speed 3, strength 2, and glowing. So glowing really doesn't mean anything, it just kind of shows your opponent that you're using Volt Tackle. So what you do is you throw it on yourself, and for that little bit of time, you're going to be getting strength 2, which is going to increase your damage drastically. Now you could try and pair this up with Iron Tail, but your speed is still the same when you have Iron Tail, you're not any faster. So Pika Punch is really where it's at. You're going to want to use Pika Punch when you're using uh, Volt Tackle, and uh, yeah, that, that's, that's that. And then its final move is Nuzzle. This one you want to throw on your opponents. It gives them Wither for a little bit, which deals the one and a half hearts, and it slows them down, gives them some Mining Fatigue, so it's a good stun lock tool as well. And that's going to wrap it up for Pikachu's moveset. Also, one more thing to note, Pikachu has six rows of hearts, which is the average for a standard class. So this is definitely the best pick if you're playing Mayanmon for the first time. Give Pikachu a shot, see if you like it, and then move on to another class. Alrighty, to show you guys some combos, I have spawned some husks around, and uh, yeah, they'll be uh, my test dummies to show you guys the different variations of combos that you can pull off with Pikachu. Now your best combo setup is definitely going to be Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt stun locks uh, players, and uh, what you can do, let's say there's a player over here and I want to hit him, I can stun lock him, move in a little bit, keep him stun locked, he's not able to move very well, and as you can see the husk died like very fast because, well, it's a husk and not a player. So as you move in closer, you know, you kind of just do this, and then once you uh, get to a point where you're really close, you can uh, pop a thunder possibly, and that's going to be, it would do damage to an actual player. And then you can uh, just do some crazy damage to them. Another way you can do this is you can try and pin them in a corner, and then once they're in a corner, then you can like throw down all three of your thunders if you wish. It's kind of a risky move, and then you'll do some big damage, and then you can, oh, oops, and then you can melee them and uh, keep them in that corner while dealing damage with thunder, so that's definitely a good idea. And when you're trying to advance on players running, that's when you use your Volt Tackle. That's what you're going to want to save your Volt Tackle for. You pop it down, and then you can uh, hit them, and it's going to be doing great damage because you have Strength too. and then uh, it's a great tool to catch people off guard. And then you can also combo Volt Tackle into, again, either Thunderbolt or Thunder. Depending on your situation, you have to figure out what you want to do with that. Nuzzle, much like Thunderbolt, is another stun lock ability. You can either hit someone with a nuzzle, and then they'll be stun locked, and then uh, if they're in a corner or if they're where you want them, then you can pop a thunder, and then the thunder's going to be doing that big damage. And if you want, you can even try and thunderbolt people into the thunder, and you'll be racking up just some crazy damage. 
and of course you can also maybe even, I don't know, iron tail people, but you're definitely going to want to try and corner people with uh, Pikachu. If you can get someone in a corner, you're going to be dealing insane damage and easy wins with Pikachu. Pikachu is a very good class, and if you know how to play it, it can uh, get wins for you all the time. So again, Nuzzle and Thunderbolt are going to be your stunlock abilities and you're going to want to use those to advance on your opponents or keep them where you want them and then thunder is going to be your big damage dealer and you're going to want to save that for the right moment because it deals six hearts a hit and if you can keep them in there you could potentially do two three rows of damage with just one potion so it's insane damage and of course full tackle you can uh, kind of combo with anything you want but yeah that's going to wrap it up for pikachu if you would like me to do a kid analysis on every kid in mind don't forget to let me know if you uh, did enjoy the video don't forget to drop that like and uh, if you're on our Ready? Please do consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.